OK, so, and I've, oh, never mind. What we're looking at for this problem is they're asking us to write the polynomial, right? All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've done a, we have already done a couple of these examples. But when we did examples with this, we used integers. And all we're going to do is we're going to be working backwards. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you're given zeros, we found zeros by ha knowing what the factors were, right? And once we knew what the factors were, then the factors, remember, multiply to give us our polynomial. So when given zeros, the first thing we need to do is write these as our factors. So there's a, there is um, a, uh, a, a bit of information, if you guys remember, in your, uh, in your notes that we said, if x equals a is a 0, then x minus a is a factor. That was in your notes. It was called the zeros of a polynomial. We wrote it down. And pretty much all it states is if, that, if that's what you have, if you have x equals a is a 0, then x minus a is a factor. So therefore, I can write these all as factors. I can write these as x minus 4 times x minus 3i and x plus 3i. Right? And remember, factors. Where does the term factors come from? Think of the factors of 6. Two factors of 6 are 2 and 3. Why are they factors? Because they multiply to give you 6, right? So these factors multiply to give me f of x. And that's what the question is asking. What is that polynomial? What does a polynomial look like? So you have it now written as factors. All you have to do is multiply. So we look at what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these first. Why do I want to multiply these first? Because I've been doing math for so long that I keep on noticing I always want to multiply difference of two squares first whenever I can because it's very simple. First two terms are the same. Last two terms are the same. Alternating sign. All I need to do is just multiply x squared and the last two terms, which would be negative 3 times 3 would be negative 9 times i squared, which would be negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 9 would be positive 9. Right? Remember, you can still do FOIL, but the middle terms cancel out. All right? Because um, what I notice is a lot of students now, they take all their binomials and they say, oh, you can just multiply the first and last two numbers. No, that's only for difference of two squares. For this one, we're going to have to use FOIL. We're going to have to make sure I multiply my first term times both terms and this one by both terms. So when I do that, I get x cubed plus 9x I am, minus wait, x cubed plus 9x minus 4x squared minus 36. Let's rewrite it in descending order. x cubed minus 4x squared plus 9x minus 36 equals f of x. Any questions? What we did? Yes? Well, you're not communicating to me what, what you're doing then, right? I mean, we, the question is asking, find the polynomial. So it really going to depend on what you're saying your answer is. If you just say this, and you're not telling me that's the polynomial, then I don't, then you're just kind of writing, you're just multiplying to, you know, you're just multiplying binomials. I want to see, yes, if I say, tell me what the polynomial, I want you to say the polynomial is this. Or you're going to have to communicate it somehow that the polynomial equals this. Make sense? OK. Just make sure you're communicating to me what you're doing and why you're doing it. Otherwise, I just assume it just, it's just going to look like you're multiplying, right?